This is uh, called Works in Progress New York City, NYC actually, and we are a silkscreen printing shop and we're also a nonprofit providing internships for uh, kids, mostly from New York City high schools. So we don't fundraise, we, we generate our own income to support the work we do with the kids. We have relationships with uh, City As School, which is a school that does inter internships as its curriculum. So we have kids always from that high school. And then we have uh, the Bronx Guild, which also all the kids do internships two days a week, work, work internships. We have the Institute for uh, Collaborative Education, ICE on 15th Street, and we get usually one or two kids for the second semester, a graduating senior. If they fulfilled all their school credits, they go on an internship. Um, we have a relationship with Medgar Evers College that is like a, a Department of Youth and Community Development program, mostly new immigrants who are here getting ready for college. They do internships here in the summer and during the year. Um, and then a few other schools, and also in the summer we take kids. Uh, Kim, who works here now, was an uh, art student at Purchase, and she contacted us and asked us if she could intern here, and we said sure, and she came one summer and we hired her ever since. So she just graduated, now she's working here part-time. She always used to, she'd always come back in the summers. Uh, we try to hire at least one high school kid a year for a summer job, and also during the year, if we're busy, they come and work on vacations and stuff, so. So we kind of provide some employment and training in job readiness, also in a skill of silk screening, and also design. Because e each intern for their final project gets to do a one color screen, design the art, and gets a budget to buy shirts or sweatshirts, whatever they want, and they make, they make a final project of shirts. And some of them have sold them and actually made money. So it's pretty cool. Uh, this business started in, I think, the end of 1983 in a storefront on 2nd Avenue and between First and Houston. And it was called Design East. And I, at that time, had a restaurant called Dine East on 2nd Avenue between First and Second and met John and Emily, who were the founders of this business. And then they opened up their store and they were only doing hand-painted shirts and, and handmade jewelry and stuff then. And they named it, so I was Dine East, and they named their store Design East. And uh, we were starting our, our, our little empire, which never turned out to be an empire, but... Um, <laughs> and this is a building now, it's like a, a, well, I think it's a co-op, or, and it's all nonprofits and art organizations. Most kids really, really, really like it. Every once in a while, someone fires themselves. You know, they just don't like it, and they don't show up again. But um, since I, I've been here now, in, in, in this incarnation since March 2011. And um, we've seen like a couple of kids who actually probably wouldn't have graduated, but they got really turned on here and they continued with their, their work at uh, City As School and they, they uh, graduated. So that, that's also really, really fulfilling for us. A lot of kids pick this internship because they like to draw or you know graffiti type stuff. So sometimes they'll draw and scan, but Emily does teach them uh, if they don't know it, Photoshop and Illustrator. And then they make they make a film like that machine over there is called a textiler. And that's how we how we make a film is we print it out onto this photosensitive paper. And then we have a dark room, and then they expose it onto the screen, and they learn how to do all that stuff too. That's the most we could do is six colors, but we also do process printing, which is CMYK. Like the way your printer prints like a photo, we can do that. Oh. Each screen is, you know, C, M, Y, K. I'm not sure which is which yeah. yet. And then I'll show you the finished product. One of my favorites that we were actually printing when, when I first started here is this. So this was for a, a store called Opening Ceremony. And they, an artist, uh, and I can't remember her name, made opening ceremony in like garbage. So like that's the banana peel. So you see, even though it looks like it's only a cu couple of colors, it's really all, it really is yeah, a CMYK yeah. print. And you see all the details and it looks so, so real like a banana peel. We do tote bags, we do t-shirts. Sometimes we'll do fabric squares. Um, Guillermo's girlfriend Shayla has a, a men's accessory company and we made um, her fabric with foil and she made bow ties out of them. 
She sent, you know, we, we screened it, and then she sent it to the factory to be, to be sewn. So we could, do, we could do other things other than T-shirts, but it has to fit, because we, do, we don't have the capacity to do yardage. Yeah. yeah. And then we also have classes sometimes come here with their teacher. We had a group last summer from um, upstate where they have a silk screening shop teaching kids silk screening, and they came down for a trip, and they all screen printed in here in the professional shop and stuff. So that's also really, really fun when they, we really like it when kids come. Ha, 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 ha.